morning, good people. Welcome back to A Moment on Mondays with your girl, your sister. I'm your friend and personal growth coach, Stephanie R. Strong. And this morning, I'd like to speak to you about dismantling doubt. Well, let me just come out of the gate and say that doubt kills. Doubt kills your creativity, doubt kills your ability, and doubt kills your mobility. And the reason why I say that um, doubt kills, well, I didn't really say it. It's just a common phrase that it kills because it really destroys um, the very essence of, of who you are in your potential. See, when I say that doubt kills your creativity, what happens? Um, doubt starts paralyzing your ability to dream and your ability to envision and your ability to see things beyond um, just just what's in front of you. When doubt kills your ability, it, it, it what happens, it tranquilizes you. It tranquilizes you in such a way where you're not able to put a plan in action and follow through with it. You know, remember this, this year we're talking about what's keeping you from following through with the plans and with um, some action steps that you have not been able to do in the past. So so doubt kills your uh, creativity, doubt kills your ability, and doubt kills your mobility. Doubt kills your mobility because it makes you feel that where you are is a permanent place. So you have to um, move out of the space of the what ifs and move out of the space of I'm not able to or things are coming against me, whatever your excuses are, because that's just what they are. They're excuses because inside of you, God put every bit every ounce, every pound, every measure of potential inside of you. You already have what it takes to accomplish your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. But doubt keeps killing you. It keeps killing your creativity. It keeps killing your ability. And it keeps killing your mobility. So this week, I want you to implement some creativity. I want you to move out of this the space of I'm not able to into a space of I can do all things through Christ. And I want you to move into a space of taking a leap of faith. Whatever your next step is, great or small, I want you to jump all in and take advantage of the opportunity to do something a little bit different than you have before. Well, that's all that I have for you today. I look forward to seeing you on next Monday. Make sure you come check me out at presencewithpurpose.net. And don't forget to pick up a copy of my book, When Tulips Bloom, a personal guide for blossoming through the difficult seasons of life. (laughs) I will see you on next Monday. But until then, make this your best day ever.